just to show how cold it is. It, it's concrete. It won't even stick. I can get that much. <sighs> all right, all, thanks for tuning in and welcome back to another video. This is coming to you from, oh geez, sky rockets in flight, afternoon delight. Yeah, that wasn't a good look. And a reason for that big pop fly to, to right center, uh, as you can see right here, I'm struggling really hard to get the tee in the ground. Um, and that first tee shot, I thought it'd be okay. It was teed up a lot higher. I said I'd make it work, definitely didn't. Good thing breakfast balls are uh, on the menu for today. And I ended up playing the white tees, which is about 6,300 yards. And I was in between playing this or scooting up even one more to the golds, which is around 5,800. I couldn't justify to myself playing 5,800, but just know that because of the cold temps uh, and you losing a lot of distance, I didn't want to play driver, three wood driver hybrid every hole. So decided to try whites. If I needed to, I'd adjust, but I ended up playing whites the whole time. And you'll see throughout the video, I think the hardest part of winter golf is you can't really stick greens. You're constantly having to kind of lay up and let it roll on and you have to account for that. Now on the flip side, I've been complaining about the cold, but here's the cool part. So for this hole right here, you'll see that yellow circle. That's my landing zone. And I was trying to hit a draw into that. And notice on the far left-hand side, that's the fairway. So you want to go fairway and then cut across 90 degrees. Um, I thought to myself, why not go for it? Worst case, you're short and it will bounce off the ice. Yes, that was all frozen tundra and everything would have uh, ricocheted. You actually saw, I guess there were people playing before me. There were a few balls on the ice just on top, staying, uh, sticking on it. And I'm not kidding, if that happened to me, I probably would have tried to play as it lies. If it was hard enough for me to stand on, I probably would have taken a shot off the ice. Or probably not, I'm just dramatic and a hype artist. And you'll notice this is the last shot that I take with my layers on. I take one off. Uh, it was so restrictive. And look what happens. My first swing, when I can finally swing free, I pure an 8-iron. And just for context, that shot was playing 138. My 8-iron's about my 155 club, 160. And look, it rolled to about 6 feet, which, cool mark. Uh, I missed the birdie putt. But that just shows you my approach actually was super short. And it rolled all the way to about 6 feet. So anyway, that shot was really important for me to mentally note because moving forward, I now know to take about 15 yards extra club and let it roll on. So never try to pin hunt or go long. So for those that have played this course, you know this is a par five, that's the green. I guess it's a temporary pin today. And I don't really know how to play this. There's no way this should be a par five. So I guess I'll play this as a four. Um, and I'm putting on the fairway, that's cool. So I kind of told myself, no matter what, I just give myself a two putt here. Putting on the fairway is ridiculous, but this upcoming hole right here, and listen to the sound of that. I was actually pretty hyped. That was center face. Something on the hole before with my driver, something just clicked. And for everyone that knows, I'm trying to work on my driver swing. I'm really trying to make sure my hips turn first and let my arms kind of fall behind me. And good drives don't matter unless you can have a good wedge and good putt in, which I do, and I'm on the board with my first birdie. So again, just to explain this hole, it's a 155, 156 par three. I grab my seven iron, which is my 170-ish club, so about 15 extra yards. I actually ended up way short. It probably won a total of 150, but the ground was so hard, it rolled past the pin. So that putt was actually about 20, 25 feet past pin high, uh, just to give you an idea of how the greens are uh, not being receptive today, but just rolling them out. In case you're wondering, I don't know if you can hear that. That's concrete sand. So this was a tricky shot, as you saw. Didn't know how to play it. I kind of played it like I was almost on cement. My swing thought was you're literally on the cart path and try to scoop it off. Uh, hit it good, just didn't go far enough, but whatever, at least we got out. And this hole right here, it's probably my favorite. Um, I just love water holes and it's a really beautiful, beautiful hole. Yes, it was my thumbnail, but 
that was a thin pitching wedge, and I got so lucky that it ended up um, on the green. I don't know if this camera angle does it justice, but when I gunned it, I think we were about 80 feet. And no better feeling than hitting the driver flush and hitting your exact target lines. Um, really hyped. I think the swing thoughts are working. And I never try three wood because I hate that club, but I told myself, why waste a good drive? Let's go for it. The pin was about 215 out, and yep, we are on for eagle. We're dancing. This camera angle, um, similar to the last putt, this was probably like a 60, 70 footer, and you know what that means? Yikes. That's three putt city. So we wrap up the front nine three over, not too bad at all, and then... Weird. The, the driver streak continues. This is one of my better driver days. And I'm not sure if it's because it was cold and I was telling myself it's not going to go far, so swing easy. I don't know what it was, but I'm actually very, very happy with driver, especially since I'm going through lessons. And yes, this technically isn't a gur. I'm on the fringe, but let's be realistic. I'm putting. The ground is so cold. It basically is a putt. It's all flat and... Not a terrible lag, so not mad at it. Anytime I can get it to within five feet, oh boy, that's that's back-to-back -back three putts for those that are counting at home. I'm going to go ahead and toot my own horn for a second because I can, and it's my video. So that was the purest strike of the day, center club face, and that was my 200 club into about a 180 par three. I figured I'd take about 20 extra yards and see what happens because of the cold. And I don't know if I caught it so good that it just ended up going like 210-ish. Yikes. That's, uh, by the way, for those at home keeping track, that's three three putts in a row. Not a good look for your boy. But back to that other shot. Um, maybe I pured it so good that it went like 210, 215, which I do have if I hit that good. But um, you can't leave yourself about... 60 70 feet and then expect to end with a par so a bogey there actually isn't terrible and uh yeah on to the next and the run good for driver continues let's go that's a baby draw down the middle again my ideal flight and for everyone that knows that golf is a mental game it couldn't be truer um you know, I told you a few holes ago that I felt so, so good. Something clicked with driver, and now there's no thinking. I just walk up, tee up, and I'm just swinging free, and uh, it's really working out well. So I guess the moral of the story is think less, be an athlete, just make it happen. And that's not a good birdie putt, and we're on the, we're on the fringe of doing three three putts and four. Oh, God. Yep. That's the third three putt in four holes. Not great. Not, not great. Look at me begin to walk this in like some sort of cocky asshole. Good job, Mark. Wasn't even close. You're not Kevin Nas. Stop it. Hey guys, remember a few holes ago when I said just be an athlete and think less? Yikes, well, that's what happens. Um, and of course, golf is a game of second balls. I actually proved that point. Shameless plug to go watch my other video where I play my second ball. But um, I decided to re-tee here for the strict purpose of I'm working on driver. Um, if this was like some sort of competition or tournament, I probably drop where it went out. Um, and I found my ball. You can see it right there. I actually found it. It was kind of in play, but didn't want to uh, have to try and punch it out of some crazy lie. But anyway, it's all about recovery mode from here. And I need to clean this up to not have a triple on the card. And we do. So F you three putts. I can still two putt. One thing I forgot to mention on the last hole, I may or may not. And by that, I definitely... Uh, added up my score. I think you all know that once you get out of the realm of trying to break par, it's just how can I break 80? And so I'm pretty sure when I saw that I was on pace to break 80 pretty easily, as long as I just don't have any big hiccups, of course the OB out of bounds goes right. So anyway, for those listening in, take my advice, never count your score. I actually got in a habit of not even writing down scores or tracking anything for a while. God, let's go driver swing less be athlete i really hope my wife isn't watching this so craig and if you are 
I'm kicking you to the couch and the driver is sleeping in bed with me tonight. And I have a chance to reach into the three wood. You know, I hate my three wood, but because I hit it so good on the first par five, I decide to do it again. And look at this. Oh, baby. It's a little shaky, but that red dot shows my ball. Uh, I think it was about when I measured it. It was like nine feet. And Jesus, Mark, ah. Uh, at least I didn't leave it short, just kind of misread it, but we'll take a tap in birdie. So that keeps us alive to break 80. All I have to do is par this and we do it. So off to a good start with a pretty good drive there. Let's hang on. And I'm not kidding. When I hit this and I snap hooked it, I think in my head I said, yep, breaking 80 is done. Don't think that way. Um, always think about the next shot. And it's easier said than done. But um, I actually hit a pretty good one here because in knowing you can't really flop it and have it spin or stop just getting it on the green with a chance and we don't so unfortunately we end up making a bogey for an 80 on the dot but given all things of the sub-zero temperatures and everything's frozen uh and i actually haven't played around in almost two weeks because of the weather so i've been hitting the range and or not the range i mean um like indoor simulators and stuff but anyway the grind continues thanks for tuning in and until next time hope you enjoyed the video